children that are here, they are from the dam. You know, we have interviewed them there to listen from them. They are from their uh, different backgrounds. You know, then we have decided that we need to have a project. You know, that is going to give love and support to these children. Then we have organized them. We have brought them here. Then what we are doing here, you know, we have applied them to go back to schools. You know, and we have organized the, the school needs for them: uniforms, you know, uh, material and. Uh, stationary you know then they're coming back from school here we help them with uh, homeworks assignments you know uh, English classes you know so we have also organized games you know educational games with them you know, that they're playing what I'm doing here I just bring all those elderly people here those who are neglected some of them are neglected some of them just are not neglected but their families are working then they're left alone in their houses some they can't do anything by themselves and then we take them and bring them here. We are giving them breakfast, lunch, snacks, if there is a snack, every day Monday to Friday. Then they went home at half past three. The course takes six weeks uh, training. Of course, it's a basic course, but the, each program is got a module, and then these guys have to write tests. Up, up until now, we have enrolled more than 400 communities, in which starting from age of 13 and to 58 years old. It's a new project. Uh, we have six grade 12. Uh, we are hoping to help them in July when they get their school reports. So we are going to help them to apply for bursaries. So I love what I'm doing. Special to us is, 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 is that <coughs> as we are the people with disabilities, we, we try to create jobs for people with disabilities. Feel, uh, that makes us feel glad or, you know, to say. Um, we are helping them with the after school um, school work because most of the parents are illiterate and because of the HIV AIDS, then their parents are dead, they are being brought up by their grandparents who are illiterate. So that's why we are helping them with, um, with the after school care so that at least they have um, a better chance of, 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 of finishing high school and then um, and trying to get into education level. Open 7 o'clock until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Then we close at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Being a 40 white and 40 brown. Mm -hmm. Yes, every day. Yes, we enjoy baking the bread. Yeah, we're doing very well. We like it a lot. Living in the township and working with these kids every day, I started seeing how desperately disadvantaged they are. In You name what, what, what topic, they are disadvantaged. So we changed over the years from a sports project with some empowerment to an empowerment project with sport. So our main aim now is to give the guys a future, to say it so. Uh, so it's getting them the skills, the knowledge. Uh, very important, get the mindset and, and, the, and the support to, to get successful in life try to get that energy, to keep that energy, what the little children have, to keep that energy in them and give them hope that is not here and dreams and it's working.